Hi guys, it's Belle here, coming on to share with you a flip through of this finished commissioned journal that I've been working on for quite a while. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, this journal would have reached its forever home and its new owner will be very happy with it. So this is Maeve, as any of you who will have been on my channel for a while will know, I name my journals and the person who requested this journal said I was free to name it and she'd asked for a spooky witch's Samhain book of shadows so it only seemed right that this journal had an Irish name and you can see it's a large hardback journal it's got three signatures it's nine by six with a three inch spine there is a large dangle on the side that is removable we will get into that I loved this fabric so much I was trying to come up with a cover uh, decoration and I just couldn't so I did something a bit different this time and it's held closed by this very long <laughs> piece of black sari silk and instead of doing a cover so this is the cover I just love this fabric so one of the um, things the person asked for was that she wanted a mainly black and grey type journal with pops of autumnal orange and purples. And I just thought this fabric worked perfectly. And then on the spine, I've got this kind of um, sheer roses that go down the side and the sari silk is underneath and there's metal Tim Holtz metal book corners. So I was going to use this on the cover, but I love the cover so much that I thought, OK, let's turn this into a little journal. There are index cards that fit in the two pockets that are front and back of this little journal. I get that in. I'm not going to put the other one in, but there's another pocket back here that that one goes in. And yeah, it's just an extra place for her to work. She can carry this with her, um, put different bits in it. And then there is a wax seal on there that I've used iridescent purple gilding on as well. So that goes on and acts almost like a cover, but is removable. She also loves fabric, which is good because if you're going to commission a journal from me, there's going to be fabric. <laughs> Anyone who's been on this channel for a while will know that I love texture and fabric. So... There's three signatures, let's get into it. In the front cover, there's this beautiful scrapbook paper with gilded spider webs. The kit I used is a Norse, a spooky Norse witch kit. I will leave the links to nearly everything that I can think of down below. Um, I've also splattered it with black paint, which not only gives it extra depth, but gives it a lovely texture. Sari silk, love this image. At the front, there is a scrapbook pocket. I've got a little pad in here, more writing space. And this was from something years ago. I don't even know where it was, but it said festively dead. And I thought, perfect for this journal. A large tag. This is a release the craft in. I have used some of their stuff in here as well. And there is her name, Maeve. Vintage music paper that I've sprayed with different... Uh, purples oranges and blacks and it actually says the everlasting memorial which works perfectly little tuck spot here i think this paper in this bit was from lady black books here's a little journal card i think this might be gypsy rose papery and i have to say i don't think she sells them anymore but um uh yeah there's a few of those used in here and lovely little spider on the back all the paper is hand dyed got vintage book page here with these cute bats they're so adorable and on the other side is a large double vellum pocket so you can still see the adorable bats through it and we've got some more release crafting journaling card so all the journaling cards and little no matter how small have been backed with tea stain paper and have either been stenciled on or have a single stamp i haven't decorated this journal as much <laughs> like the pages and the backs of things as much as I would normally just because if it's going to be a working book of shadows she needs room to actually write things 
large tag made from one of the pages from the kit I used and I've left some of the backs black so that she can write it in coloured pens because certain colours work for certain spells and it can help if you write them in certain colours just you know I've got a book on flowers here and this is hemlock and then pocket here with this tag Again, just a little bit of stamping, a little bit of detail, but lots of space to write and eyelets. Hand eye paper. This uh, is a pocket. So firstly, it opens up like that with a sticker there. So there's lots of writing space there. It's embossed and then gilded. And you've got this image. I think this is a release the crafting image. I've put certain images behind vellum to give them that spooky other world feel because Salwain's that time of year where the um, veil between the two worlds is thinner, where the spirit world and the human world can interact a lot more. And it's also uh, obviously to do with spirits and ghosts and everything. You know, it's that limbo time. So I wanted to do that with some vellum. Got a hand dyed index card here with an embossed skull image. And then in the top here, is a tag I know this is a release the crafting from one of their kits and there we go more you can write she can write on this because it's lined even though it's inked this is some graphic 45 paper love this pops of orange autumnal got the witches actually it reminds me more of the images you see of Wal whilst Purgus night well Purgus night but anyway double pocket here uh, one of my collaged journaling cards the cute skull skull washi as i said all hand dyed paper this is hand dyed book from a dracula book a pocket there with this cute little spooky image and again i've any stenciling i've done i've tried to do it really light in this book so that it can be written over got a page on sawain little flip i haven't done a large fabric flip in this one um fabric pocket large journaling card with one of these images on and all the words used are or most of the words used are from release the crafting we've got again some more beautiful foiled spider web scrapbook paper and there's some paper behind here the pentacle and triple moon journaling card it's gorgeous it's velvet with very fine kind of beaded ribbon along it an embossed and gilded skull journaling card there to write on. Hand dyed paper. So there's purple papers, there's like deep purples and obviously tea stained. We've got a wax seal. There's one of these in each signature. And again, I've used the iridescent gilding on here. Preparing to live a meditation on death. That's from a, a vintage magical book that I've got some of this you she could use gesso on this she can write on this um put paper on this or images or just leave it you know i just love that that sound and it's all inked um oh not the middle yet yep tim holt stamp more splattering this is the middle little tuck spot there look at that image of that which love it love it so much and a journaling card there everything's been inked as well with a black soot and pocket there even this has been backed and can be written on number 31 obviously the other side of that um, magical book page this is another one it opens up then there's a pocket here this can be written on we've got two journaling cards it can both be written on Obviously, all this can be written on. And then this um, stop in for a spell can be written on. Turn it the right way up and it tucks in that way. And then this is actually one of my own photos that I've altered. Um, and I added that because it's in a graveyard. And then some vellum over the top. More writing space. The other side of that Samhain page that can be read if she wants to. Got a little tuck spot there with a tiny tag. The stenciling actually looks a lot brighter on camera than it does in real life. Little just pad of paper with a Tim Holtz vellum. I always love these. They're slightly spooky. 
use lots of like graves and that in this because obviously it's our way. So this opens up, there's a top pocket here. Again, I haven't put anything in it. This is already getting alligator mouthed. This can be written on. And then there's an index journaling card with an embossed in black sparkle cobweb. And then I think these are from Lady Black Books. So they're, these, they're supposed to be bigger. I've cut them down a little bit. And then I've used vellum. And these are the images inside. Again, can all be written on. Just pops in. Use the Tim Holtz rub on. Just down the bottom. Gives it that spooky look too. Large pocket here with a large journaling card. Let's grab a pocket. This can all be written on too because it's lined. Pocket here with that gorgeous image. Again, a um, bit of stenciling on there. Gorgeous paper. More hand dyed paper, the other side of that um, hemlock page. Large pocket here. So there's vellum down here. The skull's got a bit of um, purple iridescence with a smaller journaling card in there. And then just inside here is a Samhain spell sheet um, that can be written on the back of. Um, again, this will be her journal. So she can remove all the bits and bobs if she wants and puts whatever she wants in. The other side of that bat, this was just radar line. So I decided to put a bit of um, tea stain paper on there so it can be written on. Look at the cute bat, oh, so cute vintage music paper some uh, washi and again some spraying this is lined as well so that can be written on another image that i've put behind vellum and then this pom-pom trim some of it's joined can you see that and i just liked that so i actually left it like that because it's a bit strange it's got this beautiful crow or raven at, um cawing at the moon and then some of these um trees and again it's just been splattered. Double pocket here. And tag in the top. Like so. And another little tag with a die cut back on that one. We've got Samhain Old Ways, the page in this one. So how it used to be celebrated, a Tim Holtz urn rub on. Oh, look at that dyed paper. Don't you just hate it when you just dye paper perfectly, beautifully like that? And then it's like, how did I do that? And you can't ever do it again. So this is actually a triple pocket. So there's actually a pocket back here as well. And this has actual vellum behind it. It's not just cut out. It's actually, I've put vellum behind there. So a large tag in here of that beautiful face again. And again, I've left it black so it can be written on in the colour. There's iridescent gilding around the this pocket too. And this tiny mason jar, again, stenciled on. Just fits in there and obviously you can see whatever's there. This is from a children's book, but it's got like um, laurel leaves and invisible inks and things. So it kind of made me think of, you know, magic because... I use uh, bay leaves and things. Uh, some scruffy stitching on the edge. Pocket here. So we've got a tag at the top. Again, eyelet. Then this opens up. Lots of um, writing space. And it is magnetised. This opens. Got some washi there. Another vintage floral book page. I picked this because it had the purples on there. Here, this is from Pink Oddbird. So this is um, a copy of Undertaker's receipt. I've mod podged it to give it that leathery feel a little bit. And there's writing space on the back. And there's another wax seal down there. And again, one of these pockets with these images. So hopefully I've added just enough spooky um, and that. Tim Holtz and more dyed scrapbook paper. This is a double pocket. So there's a vellum pocket, top loading pocket, and it's got this collaged index card in there. This image is from Gecko Gals. I know that much um, on Etsy. So I'll leave that link. And then this. 
image too, which again, I think might be a gypsy rose papery, but I don't think she sells them anymore. Got this scrapbook page. Again, this could be gessoed over or she could add a pocket or whatever to there. Another page from a vintage magic book with all the candles and the cauldron seem perfect. Tiny tuck spot there with a tiny journaling card that even that's been backed. I am a witch, a real house hunting, broom riding, cold and staring witch. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Anyway, um, vintage music paper again, and it says deaf, worked perfectly for in here. Another page that could be gessoed or photos or whatever she wants to put on there. I've tried to leave pages blank. I would normally add lots more kind of like page decorations, but it is still quite decorated and it's got to be worked in so we've got a belly band here and an apple card there because obviously apples are sacred to the goddess and it's that time of year and there's all those old um things that you used to do as children you know see if you can peel an apple in one go and throw it over your shoulder and all that kind of thing anyway so i added that got a pocket here with a large uh, collage journaling card with again another release the craft in um saying when witches don't fight we burn there's the back of it and i put the same scrapbook paper at the bottom as in the pocket i just like the way that worked more splattering here's the middle of this signature with i see it as the goddess talking to the raven but you know and here's a crow or raven on this fabric with a little journaling card in there but this is all lined as well so that could be written on some black and purple leaves triple tag pocket here so in the side here we have another journaling card with one of those images I think it's a gecko gals image and that just tucks in then I think this is a release the crafting image little black cat on there gonna have a black cat vellum pocket and a smaller journaling card lots of writing space but just that little pops i've left some of the bottoms of the ribbons i've left lots of threads but some of the ribbons and that just to again give it a bit of a interest a bit more texture pocket here so we have this journaling card <laughs> this made me laugh so <laughs> that stamp looks like the spider crawled into the book and then the book was slammed shut and the spider got splattered that's how i saw it <laughs> sorry <laughs> but it made me laugh anyway and a little tag with some flowers stamped on and again all this has been gilded with iridescent purple and um gold this opens up for writing space for those hidden things and then behind is this that again can be written on got a little skull tuck here with this cute image of this lady um <laughs> and again i've put it behind vellum and then we have this pocket here got a journaling card again and a little tag <laughs> some spiders again so yeah love using vellum in my journals as well and uh in this pocket this can be written on because it's lined and we have a cauldron spirit um piece in there again it can be has been mod podged to give it a leathery feel and can be written on the back large fabric pocket large collage collaged tag leaf there and uh, backed and Tim Holtz little skull on the back of there. Pocket here and a raven card. And there's a bone across there. Again, this always reminds me of the um, crypts in Paris. This opens up, can be written on here in the black, lots of writing space. Pocket there, journaling card. And in the front is a tag. I didn't want to decorate the front of the tag because, again, it's lined. It can be written on. I'm trying to utilise writing space in this one. Or there might be some dried herbs she wants to add to it. This can be gessoed. 
And then the other side of this says secret language, invisible ink, clubs and secret societies. Um, so that's why I used it, stitching all around it, a bit of fabric. I haven't done a large flip, but I've done one of these fabric flips, little ones in each journal. In each signature, hand dyed doily pocket here, we've got spellbinder smoke there. So, and all splattered. Love it. Splattering and inking is a great way to add texture without actually adding lots of things on the page, or I find that anyway. And final signature, love this image. And obviously, Samhain is also the time for a lot of divination. It's called the Witch's New Year. It's when many witches or practitioners of magic will do divination for the year to come and things like that. So crystal balls and that seems perfect. Um, large pocket here. This can be written on. Large tag. And it just says cast a spell. And then what was this one? I picked this for a reason. Oh, now who are the mourners tears who dr driest something the mourners tears oh thou who the mourners tears so obviously it's about mourning you know when some dies so it seemed perfect again vintage music paper got a pocket here so there's Samhain divination in there that can be written on the back this is from a book of photographs, a vintage book of photographs. It can be written on the back. I just loved that. And then there's a double pocket here. So we have the little witch's face, then some vellum. This is a Tim Holtz piece, just says October 31st, which you know can be written on. And a journaling card that's torn on the edges. And that just fits in there. Now this, this is interesting. So I brought these music books a little while ago and they had images in them but then they had this kind of almost carbon paper over the images and the images actually transferred onto I hope you can see that onto the carbon paper so again it's that eerie it's that kind of eerie image so I wanted to actually use this plus I love that it's very fragile and it is vintage but I wanted to use it in here to give that kind of eerie image feel. And then I've embossed the spider web, and this is one of my own photos. And that goes there. Snakes, love them. And side pocket journaling card. And then again, lots of hand dyed paper, some washi. This has got all the eyes all over it that have been inked. Double pocket here. Again, one of them's vellum. She could write in there if she wanted. Little Tim Holtz ghost. Tim Holtz piece of ephemera that's about um, caskets for funerals. Little creepy gecko gals image behind vellum. And then a journaling card. And this again is on black with a little ghosty. That goes there. And I paper. Got a tuck spot here. This is uh, from a release the crafting kit. And then this image, oh, this really freaked me out a little bit because they've got no eyes. Well, they look like they've got no eyes. So, um, yeah, spooky. This can all be written on. There's some more of that orange pom-pom trim. This can all be written on. Um, another page, this is ivy, obviously a sacred plant. Little Tim Holtz um, vellum bat here on this pocket. Crow. So, put that in there, hand dyed fabric um pocket there and then a large collaged image again this is a gecko gals image that's in there and then we have so we've had Samhain Samhain old ways and then Samhain the new ways how people today would celebrate this is actually um wooden so wooden embellishment of a black cat with a journaling card tucked behind but it's quite thin so it doesn't take up too much space in the journal, but just adds that little something. Beautiful foiled snake scrapbook paper. So this opens up more writing space. And there's actually a couple of sheets in there, pad. And again, it's magnetized. Again, the image is behind vellum. And then right in the top pocket to give even more writing space, there's another little pad. Not too thick, but enough sheets to work on. 
And then some more of my vellum with a die cut that has got the gilding paste on it. We've got this little tuck spot for undertakers and coffins. Again, I think this is a Gypsy Rose papery kit and don't think she sells them anymore, but I love it. A Samhain visitation connecting with our ancestors because obviously Samhain for a lot of witches or magical practitioners is about ancestor work. Um, you know, put up ancestor altars and connect with those who've passed both that year and at other times. Pocket there. So I wanted to put that in. That's from a vintage magical book. And then this is the middle of this one. Love the witch's cauldron and all the herbs. So we have a double pocket. Again, I wanted you to be able to see the back and it is lined. Little journal card there. There's a little witch in all of us by Alice Hoffman. There's that beautiful witch's face again. And the speeder. And a large journaling card here with a tarot stamp on the back. However, she does divination. Here's the wax seal in this one that's been gilded. Lots of inking. Pocket here with tag again. More of that. Oh, just love that. The last of these um, little pocket things from Lady Black Book. So it opens up. Again, can be written on, written inside. Then this opens up. Here's the image in here. Here's the back. And then that just tucks in behind the vellum to give that kind of spooky, otherworldly feel. It's the other side, that beautiful gilded snake paper. So hand-dyed paper. Here's the little fabric flip in here. The other side of that, cover that quickly because the lady on there is partially naked. <laughs> a little tag with obviously an eyelet and a Tim Holtz piece. So we've got this tiny, tiny, and this is flocked paper. I have so little of that paper left, and I can't find any more. It's very frustrating. This can all be written on. Then we have this that opens up, and again, there's a little pad inside. So lots and lots of writing space and hidden write, written writing space. Large collage tag here. Just fits behind. So hopefully she really likes it and that I've decorated it enough whilst leaving lots of space. Um, this is a, what, a copy of a vintage death certificate that can be written on the back. Um, there's enough writing space, but it's still beautifully decorated, I hope. Um, anyway, and another Gecko Girls image. Love those images. Freaky. Some washi. A vintage snake page, which we saw at the start. This is the other side of it with more of that beautiful velvet trim. And an embossed large gilded journaling card there. The skulls, got so much texture. It's the other side. Hand eye paper. Um, here's the other side of this um, vintage paper with the images on it. And I've used a little Tim Holtz rub on on there. Rubbing that on was very, you had to be very, very careful. This is so thin and delicate. This was a large Tim Holtz piece that I've cut down. Obviously, it's in loving memory of. And I've used it as a pocket. This is a release the craft in. I think it's for dowsing, um, you know, or whatever. But yeah, I would use it for dowsing, like a dowsing mat. But it's a journaling card anyway. So that goes in there. And then pocket here with a vellum pocket there with a Tim Holtz piece there and a tarot card in there. They've got the tower. Probably not the card you ever want to get from a reading. And another hand dyed index card with some stamping on the vintage music paper there. And again, this can be written on and this is the back. So, really large, chunky journal. And so that's the journal. That's Maeve and the mini journal to go on top. Now, let's look at the dangle. There's so much to see on here. So, let's just try. So, um, first, I've got this uh, it's kind of rubbery skeleton hand that I put a hole through. And um, it's really movable and added that. 
and then on the bottom there there's just a skull with some beads um, got some Celtic imagery some more beads a snake because obviously those images are in the book uh, what have I got here more beads lots of beads and a Tim Holtz charm that says uh, haunted spirits and then a pentagram there and more beads <laughs> and we've got a bat and a broomstick hopefully that's picking up a little broomstick or a besom uh we've got some ob a mahogany obsidian there or it might be a safari jasper actually skull down the bottom this is actually a hagstone that i have found now again those who um working uh, or a magical practitioner or a witch will know that hagstones are very sacred um they're related to the goddess and the old idea was that if you looked through the hole of a mag um a hagstone you would actually be able to pierce the veil, veil and see through to, to the other side so i picked that up myself it's one of my collections so i've added that we've got some salt from um a famous town near me and i've also used some tim holtz glaze on the bottles so that's some salt uh, there's a little moon there and then at the bottom of that there's actually some rosemary rosemary is the herb for remembrance i know i use it a lot of Samhain, so i added some of my own it's my own dried rosemary some more beads a little witch's hat there is snowflake um obsidian there i think it's snowflake obsidian yes it is um obsidian is uh, a lot of people work with obsidian at Samhain so I put that on there and then we've got a goddess charm there and it says spells so got lots of different bits and bobs um, I've never put one of my own stones I've added herbs to a lot of my dangles but I've never put one of my own stones but for a Samhain journal it just seemed right to add a hag stone on there so there we go guys and obviously it's removable for when she's working in it she could remove the hagstone if she wanted it and use it as well so there we go that's Maeve guys let me know what you think down below um, I'm actually filming this before I've actually filmed for about three weeks so I haven't actually filmed anything for three weeks but you'll see this in several weeks time when you've already seen other videos if that makes sense so I'm a bit all over the place really loved working in on this this is right in my kind of field it's gothic it's witchy it's sawane um skulls black all sorts of yummy witchiness it's perfect um i did leave the tie long so that she can either tie it just once or as i have i've doubled it over um for the moment but as it gets fuller and fuller there's no way that'll be able to double over so and then it'll close so there we go guys that's Maeve thank you so much for watching I really hope the recipient of this loves it as much as I've loved working on it and I will be back again soon until next time guys thank you so much for watching bye for now